Andy Pulworth, Boxing Social, in association with Betfred. I'm joined by heavyweight Joseph Parker on the back of another stunning victory for Tyson Fury tonight against Dillian White. Joe, what did you make of Tyson's victory? Oh, everyone can agree it was a great performance. Boxed and moved, and then he caught him off a good shot. A shot that would knock out a lot of people. Um, but, you know, Dillian White came prepared and did everything he could in his power to get the win. Very rough on the inside, and he never stopped trying. How much of a surprise was it to you to see Dillian come out southpaw in that first round? I was like, whoa! <laughs> and he was uh, doing quite well at it too. He looked comfortable. So it must have been, it must have been something that he was practicing and you know, we didn't hear much from him in the lead up. So you know, he must have just stayed away in Portugal and worked on being a you know, southpaw, fighting southpaw. Where do you think Dillian went wrong tonight when you was watching it from kind of looking at him? Because he seemed like he gassed uh, in the fight. Would you agree with that? Um, it's hard to... You know, to fight at the pace that Tyson fights at. He fights at a high pace and you know, all the twitching and feints and all that. And so it's, uh, Dillian did his best and he came as, uh, prepared, as prepared as he could, could be for this fight and he put on a good performance until, until, he, got, until he got clipped. That sick round, that uppercut, which ended it right at the end of it, you know, you, I'm sure you've seen him in camp, you've trained alongside Tyson. Was that something he'd been working on, something he could target of Dillian? So him, him and Sugar uh, work on everything. They're working on fighting on the outside, they're working on the inside game, they're working on uppercuts, hooks, straight punches, uh, moving around in boxing. So it was good to see him use everything they're working on in, in the training camp. Joe, you had your fight announced today as well with Joe Joyce. Finally, it's been talked about, but it seems to be over the line now. Excited? Not yet. Not yet. yet. No, yeah, it's still, there's still a few things we have to uh, agree on and with the contract. And as soon as we can get it signed, we want to get a date in the venue and let's get it on. Did an interview with Joe earlier, he said July time's the aim, but how excited you know he seems to be, that's the fight you're working towards, you're hopeful to get over the line. Big fight. It's a big fight with a big guy and one who has a good engine and one who doesn't stop coming and one who's got a good chin. So I love this, I love this fight because it's a good challenge for me. Are you confident if you come through that one, it will give you the opportunity to challenge for world honours once again? I think if I can get this fight out of the way and get a good win and, and look what I'm doing it, then I can fight for world title. Joe, just before I let you go, how are you and the team celebrating tonight? I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm sure that won't be the case, Joe, but I appreciate your time. Good luck in camp and thank you for speaking to me in Boxing Surge. Thank you very much.